नेक्स्ट वर्ड दुर्गम आश्रिता दुर्गम आश्रिता आई वुड डिजॉल्व दिस कंपाउंड एस दुर्गमे संकटे भक्ता यस्याम आश्रिता संति सा दुर्गम आश्रिता इन केस ऑफ डिफिकल्टी इन केस ऑफ गोइंग थ्रू कलैमिटीज गोइंग थ्रू डिफिकल्ट सिचुएशन दैट दुर्गा she is a final resort the the devotee prays to durga and finally seeks her as a last resort that is ashraya the devotee takes ashraya in durga this baby with magnificent multiple multiple qualities multiple abilities so the devotee can approach her approach to her feet and resort to her as the final final uh, authority to pray to pray for getting rid of the difficulty and getting the senses back getting everything on track together so durgam ashrita this ashraya is a beautiful word that is the final destination for a person who is suffering from anything day to day world is is so full of uh, difficulties more or less and when you are confused about what to do what not to do how to get out of this situation you can pray to durga seek ashraya in her and durga maashrita so that way you can get rid of your difficulties find a way out of it so durgame sankate bhaktaha yasyam ashritaha santi sa durgama ashrita okay sanita dama ashrita that's a very nice way of looking at it when in difficulty the person to whom we turn to ultimately she is durga ma ashrita but is there another way of looking at it we just spoke of durga ma vidya that ultimate knowledge where does this ultimate knowledge reside hmm this ultimate knowledge at obtaining which you can have dharma arth kama moksha all our desires are classified into these four there is no fifth and that knowledge which can provide you either of these any of these as well as all of these that knowledge is residing in someone who is that someone she is durga maashrita and that durga is the one whom we have to pray we have now to rise above our limited difficulties because there is no end to our personal difficulties hmm. it is never a going to be that okay everything done all fine good after this moment there is no difficulty in my life everything is nice hunky dory sweet sundar no it will never happen even in case of the avatars in the case of krishna in the case of rama ha even in the case of devi if you look at the devi mahatmya she was beset with all problems and problems and problems and problems and difficulties and hardships and pain and sorrow and this that the other but that never ends that is not meant to end what is meant to end is our outlook our approach i was recently speaking 
and this children's camp which i am conducting for school children and over there we were discussing about the vanvas prasang of shri ram mm-hmm. shri ram was supposed to be crowned the king the crown prince but at that very moment he was called in and the king told him at under duress of course that go go to the forest he was banished if it was any other lesser mortal he would have committed suicide no doubt but not shri ram there was not even a wrinkle on his face with the same smile and mind you this was not a lip service smile it was the smile from the heart and that is why the smile of shri ram is so radiant and so touching because it comes straight from the heart he did not feel any pain sorrow difficulty in fact it is said that shri ram always liked to be in seclusion in the forest that was his nature after he came back from vashishtha muni's ashram that is what he was always think contemplating from there came the yog vashishtha so when the king tells him bhai tumko jangal jana hai he was very happy but that was on a personal note on a social note what would have happened if it were you or me we would have gone mad we would need all those psychiatric anti depression medicines and this whatever else but not shri ram he took janaki and lakshman with him and if he had to go to the forest who asked him to go with bow and arrow he had to stay like a muni so just take a mala and go no he did not do that he took the bow and arrow he was a kshatriya his duty was to protect so he can protect from the king kingly throne but he could also go into the forest and protect over there every place where shri ram went he kept on helping people giving them comfort protecting them from the different rakshasas he did not sit down there and have a good time he continued doing his duty hmm. and he did it in such a manner if for some moments you look at the specificity of his activities he went he at that time the greatest terror and terrorist of those times was ravana he was very learned but his genius had gone in to the negative direction and he had become a source of terror to the entire world he needed to take care of that as long as he was the crown prince he couldn't do anything because ayodhya was not ayodhya ayodhya is kosalapuri and kosalapuri has a no war treaty a yodhya pact with ravan that's why ravan attacked everybody but not kosalapuri so ram could not go and attack him so what did he do chalo i am no longer the representative of kosalapuri so the rules over there don't apply on me this is the moment i can use and get rid of the terrorist he prepared himself he got all the things needed at the correct moment he went to panchavati he told sita bhai apni maya dikha do unhone maya jal pasar diya ravan mohit ho gaya ravan usko leke gaya ram ji uske piche gaye beech mein bahut sari leela karte gaye aur uske baad he did not use the army of ayodhya apne logon ko nahi mara वहीं से लोकल लोगों को उठाया उनको प्रॉपअप किया उनके साथ जाकर के युद्ध किया और युद्ध शत्रु के द्वार पर किया द इकोनॉमिक फॉल आउट ऑफ द वॉर वॉज फेस्ड एट लंका 
not at Ayodhya. So if you look at Ram, not as God, but as a shrewd and sharp commander, he has done that. And how did he start doing it? He started it by from a difficulty. So how can we know that? How can we attain that ability? That ability you can have when you have perfected your dharma. Then you get all your resources and then you know which desire to fulfill. And having done so, you are liberated from that. Sita was liberated from the clutches of Ravana and she came back. So that is how we have to understand this knowledge which can liberate us from the clutches of the senses. Five karmendriyas, five jnanendriyas, they have held the jivatma and that jivatma needs to be liberated out. That liberation, how do we do it? Who can help us on that path? The one who can help us on this Durgama path is Durgama Shrita. The one who has all of this instilled in her, she is Durgama Shrita. And that is Durga. And it is to this Durga that we offer our pranam and request that she blesses us so that we can move on this path step by step, bit by bit. Shanaihi, Shanaihi. Not in a moment. Ram did not attack Ravan in one moment. He took all 14 years to do so. Why? Because he prepared, not himself. He was always prepared, but he had to prepare everybody around him. That takes time. So, our desire is fixed and strong, but our body is weak. That needs to be brought up. So, that is what we are able to do by the grace of Durga Mahashrita.